Hey folks, Paul here for Hookah.org with another how-to video. This one is going to be how to make an apple head bowl. Now, obviously you start with a nice, clean, fresh, solid apple. What you gotta do, and this is where I see a lot of people make a mistake, they try and use a whole apple or they cut way too low or cut in the center. You actually just wanna take off the top. Try and make as straight a cut as you can. Because remember, you got to put foil on this eventually. Now you've got what is the majority of a bowl. This you can, you know, take the core out of, eat, yum yum, delicious breakfast. Ain't that tasty. Okay, the process from this point is actually pretty simple. I've already started it here because I'm taking pictures as well as video, but you basically dig out the center of the apple with your spoon. You try and just do it in one smooth motion, but that's oftentimes hard. You see how I've gotten right down to the bottom there? That is right to the basis of the actual apple. Alrighty, last step. Really, all you're doing is you're trying to make a hole that the uh, top of your stem can fit into. That's all it is. I mean, if you're going real basic, remember that the top of your stem is stainless steel or brass, which means that it can sit right there. Um, this one, I mean, I'm gonna stick a uh, grommet on there just to really, really seal it up, but the stem will go right in here and sit just at the edge here, and you've basically got yourself a classic Egyptian bowl. There are some people that get really, really careful about like replicating the shape of an old school Egyptian bowl where they make this much more shallow and then poke little holes. But why would you do that? Then you're just restricting your own, uh, your own airflow. So that's really it. Uh, this is an apple bowl. I'm going to pack it up. I'm going to show you how to do that. And then I'm going to smoke All right. it. And I've got my hookah set up. I'm just going to put the apple bowl on there. If you notice, it's moving just a little bit while it settles in, but that's actually on there pretty tight. I'm gonna clear out the center a little because a little bit of extra apple got in there. And that should be a nice seal. Um, because I've got a silicone grommet on the top of this hookah, uh, it is going to squeeze in quite a bit, I guess is the best way to say it. So expect it, like I said, to move just a little. Um, this is some um, red rum by, um, why can't I think of the name right now? Nirvana. Nirvana Super Shisha from Sem over at mechwak.com. Uh, it's really just like packing a classic Egyptian. Fluff it up, make sure it's well mixed, get it in there, get it under the rim, and put foil on it. That's all you got to do, because it's just any other bowl. Um, you want to try and avoid making it too deep or too crazy uh, shallow. Go for a nice medium size. There's no need or reason to pack this super dense. Because like I said, it's an Egyptian style. Hole in the bottom that you're going to be covering with tobacco. You don't want it to restrict your airflow. So that's it. Uh, I'm just going to put some foil on this and then show you the smoke. Woo! Alright, there you go. I mean, that's smoke out of an apple bowl. Uh, like I said, I'm smoking red rum from Nirvana and I'm getting good clouds. Uh, the airflow is good because I fluffed the tobacco. Make sure that if you make an apple bowl, you don't pack it too densely because it is somewhat of an Egyptian style and it will restrict airflow. Uh, this is great for parties. People seem to love it. Uh, it does add a little bit of apple flavor, but nothing crazy, just a little bit of a hint. So if it's a really strong tobacco, you're not going to get much at all. If it's something really light, it can be a nice undertone. That's it. Uh, make sure to try this for yourself. Uh, try it at a party, see what your friends think, and try it when you say, I don't know, break a bowl, forget a bowl, anything like that. Find yourself at a pinch. It's a really good option. So this is Paul for Hookah.org saying thank you very much for joining us. I'll be back again real soon next week with more guides and reviews every week. And uh, make sure to sign up for the forums. Check them out, and that's where you'll find the information about our social smoke contests. But make sure to go down below, like and subscribe, give us that thumbs up, and smoke happy.